Okay, and welcome again to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host. I think I said for this episode last, when I started last recording, please be quiet, I'm doing the saying hello words as, uh, as always. Since, as I said, since I had COVID, um, I'm doing the saying hello to the people watching this. <laughs> Critters making noises. Anyway, um, we have been trying to get inside here, or rather to kill whoever is in there to get that Staff of Magnus, I think was the name. Real quick, the Staff of Magnus, yes. Um, but the Daedroths are way too hard for us. So I've been considering multiple things, I've been trying out multiple things, and I think it's time to leave this cave behind for now. Um, let me just make sure that it's... Uh, I'm pretty sure that we noted it down. That one was for the Mage's Guild, for Jira, and it's, yes, searching Asu for the Staff of Magnus, and we need to learn a strong shield spell. So things that I had considered, uh, or that, that I was thinking about is, A, our Magicka is way too low. I wanted to have something with permanent effect enchantment that gives us Magicka. Thing is, well, let's, um, let's first uh, check what we do, right? And then, um, then I can tell you on the way. Um, so let's take a look at the to-do list. So as you can see, we have um, the Learn a Strong Shield spell here. We can advance to Wizard and get another, try to get that. Finding out something about the disappearance of the dwarves, I think that's not that good, but we can... We do have the command spell, so we can deliver the Daedra skin to Aaron in Telvos. So we now first need to get a Daedra skin. I'm pretty sure that we don't have one right now. Let me see. Skin, no. No Daedra skin. Okay, so let's head back. So, as I said, permanent uh, fortify magicka enchantment. Uh, okay, there are enemies. There's. Ah, there is a cliff razor. And he's stuck. No, I'm not going to bother with that. So, you know what? Let's just teleport out of here. And um, I did some research because I never, never, ever did any of the enchantments. Of course we can't rest here, I know, but uh, still. I uh, never did any of the enchantments, which means I needed to check how this actually, how the enchantment mechanic actually works. And it does in, in this game. And we go. Let's see where, let's see where he can take us. Ebenhard Laod, the foreign quarter of Vivek, and Telbrunora. Oh, we can also just take the Quit suits right around the other side. I have a much time. Thing. For, uh, forgot how these buildings are called, but they do have a distinct name. Uh, anyway, um, we need a very strong soul to enchant that. I mean, lots of money. We do have loads of money. Uh, but getting the very strong souls requires us to have a big soul gem, which is easy, we just buy it or find it, and to kill a golden saint, which A, I don't think we've seen yet, and B, if we die at the hands of a daydrop, which, which is a weaker soul, um, I think we're not ready to kill a golden saint. On the other hand, we can um, level enchanting by just fetching souls and charging our enchanted weapons, and this is one thing that always um, that always confused me, even in the original game, actually. You're supposed to have this charge here, it says 60 of 60 charges, and this charge is meant to deplete when you use the weapon, and then it doesn't have any charges left, but for some reason it is still charged. I never charged it, I never did, I have no clue. I didn't find, I didn't specifically search for it, honestly, um, why it kind of automatically recharged. I never had to, I always used um, a magic weapon throughout the game. I always used that that um, sparky dagger that you find in the first cave. And uh, have why, I no clue why I never had to recharge that. 
Where would you like Aura, to Mage's go? Aura, Guild. I know that there are beds that we can use. And also, we already healed just from traveling. Because, of course, we were resting in the Silt Strider while we were riding it. Now, let me first visit our friend and... What say see. you? See, we do have things for sale. I'm pretty sure about that. And then there's one thing that we can do which is getting rid of all that gold for something interesting. Because I do have something on my mind that was the second thing. It pains me to sell the Daedra Heart, to be honest. Um, because that one is Restore Magicka. I'm going to keep it. Because I want to have the Restore Magicka effect. Restore Fatigue also is interesting, but um, that's easy to come by. Okay. <clears throat> Because we still have about 14,000 gold. Warmly greeted, friend. So one thing we can do is we can learn Soul Trap and try to trap creatures. Go which ahead. is one thing I'm going to try to do. So let's see if someone here you flatter me can into teach us Soul Trap out. and if we can get some simple Soul Gems. Because most of the creatures actually just have smaller souls. Spells. Nothing that sounds like soul trapping. Maybe the girl upstairs who's an enchanter has them. But I think she only offers enchantment services. Yeah. Walk with virtue, Outlander. And she offers spells. Reflect would be interesting. Because that means that the enemy, I don't know if it's a chance, if it's like 10 to 20% chance to reflect the spell, or if 10 or 10 to 20% of the spell is being reflected. That would also be interesting, spell absorption, if we are being um, magicked, then um, we will gain magicka, although as you can see it's very expensive. So I'm just going to... Stuff that and uh, please don't hi, be shy. I'm listening. Mwah, mwah. No, I didn't find the staff of Magnus net yet. I actually do need to actually do need to get stronger on that, but I will do it for you. I will show you the staff of Magnus eventually. See, say, do you have some skin, some scamp skin? Was that the one that we needed? No, it's Daedra skin. Okay, she does not have Daedra skin. Um, how about some? Magicka potion. Only fortify Magicka. How about some restore health? Only fortify health. Thank you. You were not helpful at all. May you walk <coughs> on warm sands. Welcome. Care to talk? No, but I care to sleep. Sleep until healed. There we go. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Uh, Ma'am, I... Yeah, I want to get out of there. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so I'm just checking if I can, like, on the way to um, to delivering the day reskin. I'll do what I can. Yeah, she only has enchanted things, but there are the soul. Oh, there are even soul gems that do contain souls, and they are super expensive already. As you can see, if you have a skeleton warrior, it's well, well. Value 300, and if there is, let's say if there's nothing in there, but if you have a lesser soul gem, I think this is bigger than uh, than the pity one. Then it's just 20, and you have multiple hundreds for a soul gem with a soul inside. So yeah, and um, one thing that can teach us enchanting is just like using the soul gems to recharge items. So maybe just get an item. This is poison damage, fire damage. That's a light shield with an armor rating of 12. But we're not using shields, that's a problem. Of course, if we just have the shield in our inventory, which uses weight, four units of weight, we still can use the spell. We don't need to wear it. 
Oh, well, that's that's interesting. And it has charge of five. I'm pretty sure I will forget using to use it. To be honest. I don't see the intervention of these are scrolls, these are cast ones. So I'm going to use the life ring just just to have an item, basically a throwaway item, and get a pity soul gem with a rat inside to recharge it. And see if we can if this works. We can also wear that ring even though it doesn't do us any good. Okay. So I now need to remember to actually that I have the heal spell. Um, and I'm going to buy one of the empty soul gems off of her because, as far as I understood, the soul gem is being destroyed when you use it to recharge something. Could be that I'm wrong, but that's what I understood. Mm. How can I help? I'll do what I can. You first. There we go. Okay, so we need the Daedra skin. Let's see if if any one of these have it. Maybe we sold one to Ravir, then it's very likely that he still has it. Another thing about getting rid of the gold is uh, I want some glass armor. He doesn't have any skins. And glass armor is super expensive. It might not. We might not even have enough money now just to get glass armor, but this is the, as far as I understand, the strongest light armor in the game. So if we can buy a piece of glass armor, that would be awesome. Another thing, of course, would be things that make us ultra poison resistant. But I don't think it, it's that easy. I guess the poison resistance will only be like 20%. There's the alchemist. Uh, hello, ma'am. Um, barter. Do you have any? There is skin and there is a Deidre skin. Thank you so much. You know what? I'm going to leave a tip for you. How interesting. And now we need to... So the reason we can do this is because we have the command humanoid. Just need to check its commanding touch. There it is. And I hope it's enough to get this guy away from... Uh, I should not try to concentrate on walking somewhere and talking to you. As I said, um, concentration is hard since I had COVID. So this this guy who's standing in front of Master Aaron and not letting us through, which is because of his broken AI, not because of he says you can't go through. So that was the map. We are going to go there, up here. So we're going to go to Sedrith Mora, take a boat to Telmora, and then go here. So Sedrith Mora, that means guild transportation. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. And the guild loves us. to several parts. Share your thought. What, stranger? I have no clue if there's a different way out of here, to be honest. I always went this way. What was that? What's this about? It's like, the guy's in the way just like this guy just is. But here I can just jump around him. And at Master Aaron's place, I can't. Of course, we can also check if you can do something for the Telvani. That was that what we're doing right now was one of the like side quests for the Telvani. I think we, we did get it while doing the Telvani quests. Um, and I also know that the Telvani are very keen on having people with a high enchanting skill. I do know that because um, when I read up on enchanting, it said so. Telvani are one who like you to have enchanting skill. And I guess this means 
enchanting skill is a uh, condition for advancement. I mean, I could look up a table table for the conditions for advancement, but uh, to be honest, I don't want to. So there are things that I'm I'm looking up the general concepts and stuff. Um, last recording, I did say that I don't look up where things are. That's not entirely true, to be honest. I did actually did look up places that I that I was looking for for a long time, and then like in the next recording I went there because it would have been too boring just to watch me for three hours searching for a place because it was too stupid to find it. So I checked on a map where it is. But uh, that's only if I'm too, if I'm starting to get frustrated, like if I'm saying, okay, we're going to go in there next time. Um, I'm going to be honest with you in the future. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to look it up. Um, the thing is, one reason why I didn't say this actually is, is not that I want to keep it a secret, um, but the two reasons are, first, I want to have like, a consistent narrative, so I try to... I will also still try to act as if I found it, because I want to kind of play in a little bit in character, <clears throat> trying to do this more and more, honestly. And the character can't look it up on, on a map, obviously. Um, and the second reason is, um, in, always when I say I'm going to look it up, I fear that I might not find it, and then I promise to look it up, and I have no, still have no clue. So this is why, I, basically, I don't want to make promises that I don't know if I can keep them, and I um, want to keep the the narrative. Um, that said, I still love in this game that I'm you waiting. don't have a quest marker. You don't need to wait for me, I'm just talking to the crowd. Um, that you don't have a quest marker, you actually need to find your way around in this direction. Okay. Oh, it's over there. Yes, this is where we want to go. And I have to admit, I made a cardinal, cardinal mistake. Um, I actually forgot having something to drink. Um, so I might need to do so while recording. Which, of course, will result in, a cut, in me cutting away my card. But just so you know. This is a thing that will happen. If you don't have a drink, you should go and fetch yourself one right now. If you have something to drink, you should take a sip right now. Now, to get to Master Aaron, we need to be able to fly. Uh, our own levitation spell. Greetings, Outlander. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? You do? I don't know. What's your background? I'm a Telvanni guard. It doesn't tell me everything. It's still blue. Interesting. It doesn't tell me everything. Now I'm curious. If I charm him, charisma boost. No, it's no difference. Okay, so for some reason the background thing is still blue, which means there is something he wants to. There is some quest related thing he's telling me, but I can't access it yet. Well, anyway, let's try with the levitation. There we go. Up, 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 up we go. This is ah, steward. Greetings. What shall we talk about? And I guess this is the guard who blocked our way, who's just proceeding to continue working all the way. Because he's... Yes, 
Yes, we did not need the command. Greetings, Outla Outlander. How do you do? Don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> All of them are talking at the same time. What brings you to Tel Vos, Nighty? Uh, Mr. Aaron, I've been tasked to bring you some Daedra skin. Have you brought me a Daedra skin? I will pay you 300 rakes for it. Yes, here it is. Excellent. Yes, this Daedra skin will serve my purpose. Take these 300 drakes. You know, Daedra skins, if not properly prepared, can cause paralysis. A useful effect in some circumstances. Perhaps you would like to paralyze your enemies. Well, teach me how to paralyze, even though I already know it. It's rather simple, actually. Arian teaches you the spell Paralyze. This is a simple version of the spell. It's far more useful if you cast it at a distance. So what can you tell me about the Daedra skin? I do not need any more Daedra skins at the moment. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about Master Nilov? He lives in Telnaga, the tower in with Mora. He has a short temper, but he will listen to reason if you're persuasive enough. Do not expect him to be polite. Right, what do you know about Archmagister Gofran? He's the current head of House Telvani. He's held his position for many years. If you need to speak with him, you might find him in Tel Arun. If you have never been there, Tel Arun is west of Sedrith Mora. I will mark it in your map. Can you tell me something about Baladas? Baladas Demnevani is a reclusive member of House Telvani. He lives in Arvastrelin, just northwest of Gnesis. Ah, it's that guy, okay. Well, can you tell me something about the requirements of House Telvani? House Telvani seeks candidates of high intelligence and dominant will. Intelligence and willpower. We value the arts of magic, mysticism, conjuration, illusion, alteration, and destruction. We also expect members to be capable of enchanting items. There it says. So this is basically what they need me to learn. Do you have any more chores for me? I believe we can arrange a situation to our mutual benefit. I will become your patron and ally in House Telvani. If you convince another potential ally, Baladas Demnevani, to abandon his exclusive ways and join the council. Hmm. Well, we did help that fellow before, so we might actually persuade him to join the council. So, yes. Yes, speak with Baladas Demnevani and convince him to join the council. With his support, we can wrest control from the old, cautious, and unimaginative like Gothran and Nilo. Once you have convinced him, speak with me again and we'll sponsor you in House Telvani. That's good. So we did deliver the Daedra skin, and for Master Orion, or Arian, Arian, Orion, that is. I just said the name without looking at it, even, and then I looked at my screen. So for him, we now have to make baladas in our Drelin join the council. And this is what we're going to do now, I think. Um, can you tell me something about your mouth? Each mouth represents his or her patron, who's, the, who's one of the older and more respected members of the council. The mouths receive messengers from their patrons and cast their patron's votes in council. Thanks. Uh, it's, can you tell me something more about Pelatus? Do you have any more information? Uh, he lives in Arvastrelin, just as I said. Speak with him and convince him to join the council. I guess I can't. Uh, yes, yes, I will be your patron, but first you must convince Baladas to join the council. Yeah, I say, as I thought. C could steal his notes, but I don't want to steal something. So what's down here? Is there another exit? Is there no? As I as I imagined, <clears throat> that was the only entrance. Uh, there are more books. I want all the books. I do know actually that you can build a house, your own house that you that you, and that's what I'm. That's why I'm keeping all the books. I want to place all the books in the house once. Well, I'm hello there. Having Applied. built, but for that you need to have a Telvani. Like to be far enough up in the ranks of the Telvani. So now we're going to head to Gnesis. Which is easy because there's a Soul Strider there. Huh. That's weird. 
Is the Sylph Strider closed? Uh, I mean, I guess he's also just down, down below the Sylph Strider for some reason. Why do they stay where they are? Are their AI should have them standing up there? It seems like they just glitch through the floor and they spawn there. So one more guy is down here. Anyway, off to Gnesis. And <laughs> well, it's like the first guy was in Gnesis, and now it's connecting to Gnesis. And I know I'm walking in the wrong direction. Our Strelan is over there. Interesting thing, by the way, is that the uh, the red bar below the sword isn't full, and if I go to the sword, it is... Um, I guess that's a condition, not the charge, because condition is 799 from of 1000. Okay. So this does not show me the charge. I think it was that way. Upstairs it was. Yep, this is where the rank goes upstairs. See, and this is the Daedroth who is not hostile, else we would have lots of problems going here. Interestingly enough, the Centurion Spheres are way weaker than the Daedroths for us. Let's drop a quick save and talk to Balaz. A warm welcome to you. He loves me. What me brings you? Uh, what brings you here, Nighty? Well, I'd like to ask you if you might want to consider joining the Council of the House. You've brought me the books that I desired, so I will consider a young Orion's offer. I will join the Council, at least for the next century or two, and sponsor a mouth sent to Sedrith Mora. Tell Orion to is expect me to take a more active role in Hell's Tovani. That's that. This means this should mean that we should be able to advance more and even as I as I always hope, get the house, which I assume is very expensive. So our I mean, we did drain our um, our amount of gold quite a bit. It's now down to fourteen thousand from seventeen thousand, but still. Down here, yes, it was here. And then we just head back. Where would you like to go? I think I know why he's standing down there, because down there the um, sandstorms down don't hit them. Anyway, heading back to Master Orion to bring him the good news. Oh, I had assumed that this quest would be harder, like he gives us another quest to do, but I guess the books was the quest he would give us to do, late latest when we do this. I still think they should have added one more. Like if you have done the books already, you still have to do something. Welcome, friend. 